Hey, TD superheroes. My name is Alejandro Perez, and I am your sidekick. Today, we are going to be starting creating a face rig for the character. In this video, what we're going to be going over is how to get a set of blend shapes that have been created in production by a set of modelers into the Maya file so that we can automate the process rather than doing it individually by hand. So the folder structure that I have is going to be into my project folder. So projects face rig. So I have here my um, face start file and I have my blend shapes here as .obj files. And then we have the MTLs that are created when you export an OBJ. OBJs are nice because they're efficient in size. It only holds the geometry data. So that is good for us. And then a lot of people can be working on the blend shapes at the same time. So you can speed up production workflow pretty easily that way. And then so another thing that we have to make sure is that we do set our project. So we have to go in and set project. I'm going to select the face rig folder, which is in my CGI nerd projects folder set. And there we go. So if we import maya.cmds as MC, what we're going to check is our workspace. So we'll do mc dot, and we'll call this path for right now, a variable. mc dot workspace rd equals for root directory. So I'm going to say rd equals true because we want to check that. And we want to query equals true. So that way it outputs a string for us to use. And then let's just check that out. We'll do print path and we'll see that we have that folder now. So the next thing is that we want to go into the blend shapes folder. So we're going to say path equals path plus, and then we'll put blend shapes. So if we do print path again, we will see that we get that path to the blend shapes folder. And we can just double check if we wanted to. Blend shapes spelled the same way. I keep the case sensitive. I don't think it matters, but it's good to keep the case casing correct. We can double check to see if it matters at all. Actually, we can't at this point. We will in a moment though. We'll check it in a moment. So what I want to do now is be able to see what's inside of this folder at the path right now. And with Maya commands, we cannot. So we need to import our OS commands. So OS is a Python library that lets us access the operating system. So let us go into just print OS dot list DIR path. So this should print out a statement of all the objects that are inside of this path. So here you can see we're getting the brow MTL, the brow object, and so forth. So let's see if it's case sensitive. So if we put this with the lowercase, if it's going to matter. No, it doesn't matter. But just for consistency, I'm going to keep it the same. And now that we know that that is working, actually, we'll just modify this line. I'm going to hold this into a variable. So we're going to say all files equal everything into that list. 
and then we can just print all files and that should show us every single file that we have in that folder so that's good it's working properly now we can do a for loop so for file let's call it item so that we're not using the my command name for it so item in all files and at this point let's just print item i like to do that as a check kind of throughout steps to make sure that i'm getting what i am expecting to get to be working with so here we can see we're getting all the files individually which is great that's what we want to do so what i want to do is we'll call this obj check and that's going to be equal to item dot split and this needs to be in quotes there we go so we're going to split the each item list by the period so that way we have the file name and then the extension so if we print obj check what we'll see is that we get a list with two items one the file name and one the extension so what we can do is if obj check is equal to and we need uh, obj check one because we want the second item in the list it would go zero then one is equal to obj then what do we want to do let's just print item at this stage because we don't have any other prints right now so now we can check and we're seeing that we have each one of the obj files which is exactly what we want because that's only what we're going to want so at this stage what we can do is just say mc.file and then we're going to say path plus item comma i which is import equals true okay so we're making a new path which is going to be whatever the workspace is plus blend shapes which is the folder i have all my blend shapes in we want to import that and we're going to import it in to the scene by choosing the specific obj files that we want so let's run this there we go so I have some warnings because I imported these before and I didn't clear out the things, but this does work properly. It's imported all of our scenes. If we wanted to turn the visibility off, we could do that so that it's not overwhelming in our scene because we don't need them visible. I think that's the first one. So let's clear that. And then let's say we will take after we import it we know the file name or the item name so we're going to be saying mc.set adder for item but it won't have obj so maybe it'd be obj check zero plus visibility or I guess it'd be dot V for visibility comma zero and let's check that now no attribute is set to that so let's select it and turn it just to double check so let's write the whole thing visibility 
Let's try this now. So no item matches. Oh, because it doesn't have the underscore as soon as it brings it in. So we'll have to change the underscore. It probably would have been better to name it without the underscore, but since we have it, we can adjust it. So let's take a look at doing that. Okay, so let's set it up up here. We'll say obj name is equal to obj check and then in brackets one colon and then close brackets and then this will be now but we want the first item in there don't we so what we're going to do is change this a little bit because this is a list item already so what we want is obj name equals obj check zero then obj name equals obj check bracket one colon bracket and then this will just be obj name let's test that to make sure it works basically this is just splitting off the first character and keeping everything else so it looks like it worked on the first one what does it say line 12 Okay, let's comment this section out and just print obj, print obj name. Okay, that is not what I want. Oh, because this should be obj name. There we go. Let's try that. There we go. Now we've removed the underscore. So I did obj check here instead of obj name. And then let's remove this print statement and get the comment off. And let's try this. There we go. These were imported before, but each one of these are working now. And we have these. Let's just clear the whole scene to make sure everything is working properly. There you go. That works. Looks like it worked properly. We have an empty scene now, or we have everything in the scene, but it is all turned invisible so that we can work with it. All right. So. This is the first step we've finished up now for our automating the face rig. We've imported all of the blend shapes from a given directory within our project folder, and we made it invisible just so that way it's a little bit nicer to work with in the scene because we're going to automate everything. We're not going to actually need to see these. We just want to make sure that when we go to the mesh that we do see that the mesh is working properly with the blend shapes when we are working with it. So eventually we'll end up deleting all of these, but we don't need to do that yet. All right, that's it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.